In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the weight of evidence and information value in SAS. So we will write an automated code which will calculate uh, the weight of evidence and information value for us. So for this illustration, I'll take a data set. Let me show you the data set first. Um, in my data set, I've got two variables. Uh, the first variable name is admit. So this is uh, a binary variable. So uh, this is about whether a student gets admission in an university or not. So uh, if admit uh, is one, then the student gets admission. Uh, if it is zero, then uh, the student doesn't get admission in the university. And I have got another uh, variable, which is uh, the explanatory variable or independent variable here. Um, it's GRE. So it's a continuous variable. So uh, my intention or objective is to uh, model for uh, the probability of uh, getting admitted to uh, an university based on the GRE score. Now before I uh, build a logistic regression model using the uh, two variables, I am going to do a WOE transformation uh, of the continuous variable GRE and I'll also try to find out what is the information value of this variable so that I'll get to know the predictive strength of this particular variable. So let us uh, write a code which is going to give us the WA transform uh, transformation of the variable GRE and also its uh, information value. The first thing that we are going to do uh, in order to find out the WA variable uh, is that we are going to rank order the uh, variable uh, GRE. So that's the variable of interest in our case. So GRE is the variable which is going to be transformed. So we will first uh, rank order it and group it into 10 different uh, intervals. So PROC rank does it for us. Uh, if you uh, have gone through my videos on WOE, uh, the weight of evidence and information value theory, uh, there I have shown you how to uh, do it manually. Uh, but here uh, the ranking is actually done by the uh, ranking uh, PROC rank algorithm and uh, we get 10 different uh, groups. We can also change the number of groups. I have taken it as 10. We can make it 5, uh, 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 you know, 15, anything. So uh, what is, will be the number of groups? Again, will be decided based on many criteria, uh, based on the variation uh, in the data. We can uh, select the number of groups. And to ensure that the monotonicity is maintained uh, and based on that, we can take the total number of uh, uh, intervals that can be taken. So uh, I have taken it as 10. We can experiment with different numbers. Then uh, after doing that, we will try to uh, uh, ensure that the monotonicity assumption is uh, maintained. So we will use PROC TRANSREG which is going to uh, ensure that uh, monotonicity is maintained across the uh, different uh, intervals. So we are going to use PROC TRANSREG and input data set and then uh, um, model identity so in, in inside we'll uh, give the uh, dependent variable and then we use the function monotone and in uh, as a parameter we use the uh, continuous variable gre uh, so let us run this code first so first that we will do is So we have rank ordered it. So as you can see earlier it used used to be continuous variable. Now we have got only the ranks uh, for the variable GRE. So it says that the values of GRE are replaced by the uh, ranks. So we don't have uh, the actual values of GRE anymore. The next thing that we are going to do is to uh, do the monotonic transformation. So we'll run the prop translate code. Okay. Then uh, what we will do is that we create another data set um, wherein we will calculate the total number of uh, admitted uh, students and then uh, non-admitted students or admit equal to and admit equal to zero. So we'll create this data set first. So 
So you can see uh, the total number of admit and total number of non-admit cases. So total number of admit uh, students are uh, 127 and the total number of non-admit is 273. The next thing that we are going to do is that to use the formula for uh, weight of evidence and the information value in order to calculate the uh, WOE and the IV values. So uh, what we will be doing is that we will be using uh, the uh, proxy quill for that. So we create a uh, data set uh, WOE and then uh, we will select the variable of interest which is GRE and then uh, the total number of admit and non-admit cases, uh, total number of admit and non-admit cases grouped by the different intervals. So remember that in our data set we now have got intervals for GRE not the actual value. So we have got 10 intervals of GRE. So uh, GRE which is interval uh, variable and then the total number of uh, admit and non-admit cases grouped by the intervals and then we will use the WI formula. So this is nothing but logarithm of sum of your total number of admit and then uh, sum of the uh, total non-admit divided by the mean of total admit. So why we are taking mean? That's because uh, in our data set if we go to the actual data set you can see that uh, 127 is there in all the observation in the column total admit. So we need to if you want to take the one uh, particular value so we just need to use uh, mean of that uh, column uh, otherwise this will create a uh, coding issue. So that's the reason why I have taken the uh, function mean here. So mean of the entire column here is 127. Similarly the mean of the entire column total non admit is uh, 273. That's the reason why we have used mean. Otherwise in the formula the mean is actually not there. So uh, we use mean here uh, and then this will be calculated as WA. And remember this will be calculated for each and every interval. So we have used group by. If you are familiar with group by you will see that for each category you will have a different calculation. So we will get different WA values for um, for for the uh, different uh, categories of GRE. The uh, next formula that we are going to use is the information value formula. So uh, information value formula as you remember from the theory is the percentage of uh, the uh, good cases minus percentage of bad cases. So in this case percentage of admit minus percentage of uh, uh, non-admit uh, multiplied to the logarithm of percentage of admit by percentage of non-admit. So logarithm of percentage of admit by non-admit but nothing but the uh, WI values, the actual WI's values and we have already calculated it. So in, instead of writing the second part of the formula, we can just write it as calculated WI. So that's what we are going to use and the first part of the formula, formula which is the difference of the percentage of admit to the difference of uh, to the percentage of non-admit. So when we multiply this and uh, we will get information value. If you are not sure uh, of these, these two formula, better to go back and check the formula for WOE and information value and if you are familiar with uh, the basic uh, SQL statements then if it's easy to write uh, the SQL code. And then uh, inside we have uh, Extra, uh, we are extracting the following variables admit GRE and the total admit and total non admit that we have already calculated in this particular code and then we are just grouping by the GRE okay so when we run this we'll have the WOE values and the IV values stored in the data set WOE but we haven't been able to uh, summarize it we haven't been able to summarize it for information value we need to add it up, we need to uh, sum it across the, all the uh, intervals to be able to get the final or the cumulative information value which is the information value for the continuous variable GR. So for that we will do proc print data WOE and then we will just uh, uh, sum admit, non-admit and the uh, information value. So let us print our values stored in the variable WOE uh, by uh, summing up the uh, information value for intercept. So when we run this we will get our results. So here we can see uh, so GRE is now uh, there are 10 different categories of GREs 0 to 9 
and then the total number of counts for non-admit and admit cases um, and the corresponding uh, WI values and the corresponding IV values for int uh, each uh, intervals and finally uh, we are getting uh, the uh, sum of that so uh, it's, it comes out to be 0 0.31 so the information value for this particular variable is 0 0.31 uh, and the WI value that we can see on the screen uh, can be uh, taken out and then we can uh, do the transformation based on uh, the these values so uh, what we can do is that we can just uh, copy these values and write another data statement that if GRE is 0 then GRE underscore WOE is uh, minus 1.37 if GRE is 1 then uh, GRE underscore WOE which is the transform variable takes a value of minus uh, 0.0821 so uh, and similarly we can just write such a code and transform all the variable uh, all the uh, values um, to the WI values and create a totally uh, new uh, variable GRE underscore WI and that variable can then be used for logistic regression modeling so in a separate video in another video I will talk about how to do the transformation and how to use this transform variable in a logistic regression and how do we interpret the results um, from the logistic regression where we have used the uh, uh, WI variables. So thank you.